Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have Taraji and Zora, or Zora and Taraji. This being Zora, this being Taraji. And um, so Taraji is not fully dressed because I gotta find her jeans um, just because apparently I thought I had bought her a pair of pants like these, but it had the pink in it, more of the pink in it like a rose to go with that top so that they could so that it could be matching but um I don't know if I accidentally gave them to my grandbaby or if um I just mistaked another piece for pants cuz I, I I have a bad habit of putting the wrong thing in the cart cuz I put everything in the cart that I want when I'm shopping online and then I start taking stuff out to get my balance down and maybe I somehow I took out the other pants I don't know but this um actually came defective it's got two buttons the same so it don't have the the clasp that match but that's I mean that you know for it to go together so anyway I tell you <laughs> poor babies but yeah these are my big girls and um I don't show my toddlers as much. Um, both of these were painted, girls were painted by me. I wanna get, I was gonna try to move over a little bit so you guys can see them a little bit more. But um, yeah, I don't show my, my toddlers as much, but I absolutely love, love, love my toddlers right now. It's like a big part of my collecting. I. I love the bigger babies. I actually want a baby that's around like nine month size. It's not as big as these, but not small. Like I want them to be able to sit up on their own type thing. Um, but I, I have to find the perfect scope. So I also wanted to tell you guys like I, Zora is another baby that's like more of a, like a, a baby that I will pick up and hold. As big as she is, she is one that I will pick up and hold. Taraji, I will too. Um, I love the way that Pinla does her toddlers. And I wish more sculptors would do the bodies like that. Just simply because it just gives so much movement and flexibility and stuff like that. But, um, of course, um, Zora has Bonnie Brown limbs, which I absolutely love. Like, her, um her feet and stuff like that and so um yeah so I, I love both and I can appreciate the sculpting on both but I do like the flexibility in Taraji so there's like there's always a pro and a con like okay so now you see she has that cloth that's her body like she doesn't have an upper thigh leg so you have to be careful like what type of clothes that you put them on like she can't wear short shorts wherein little chunk of monk i got her some bloomers that she's gonna wear with some tights and this little like a little sweater outfit thing um uh, one day and she can do that because she's you know fully you know she has a full leg and so it, it, it looks cute she looks cute in little skirts and all that and stuff taraji i have to make sure they're gonna fall past you know come to her knee or she can wear like capris and stuff like that so if you more of a person like a summer, you're looking for a summery baby, like Taraji wouldn't be necessarily the summer, summer baby for his shorts, but she still can wear cute little, you know, outfits. And then she has the chest plate so she can wear like, you know, tank tops and, you know, spaghetti string dresses and rompers and stuff like that. So it all kind of works out. Um... And so I'm really torn in like sending Zora to get rooted or Laura. So um, I don't, I've, I've really torn because I feel like Zora been waiting a long time. Um, I know Memphis been waiting even longer, but I feel like she's such a bigger baby. And I don't dress her as much as I would love to dress her and show her off because she doesn't have her hair. And without her hair, I'm always trying to match a hat with her and stuff like her clothes and stuff so some some outfits I'm just like I'm not gonna even put it on because I don't have a cute hat that matches it necessarily if that makes sense so um 
those are some of the, the things, the drawbacks of me with my ball babies. But I mean, I, I love Zora, whether she has hair or not. So I don't know, she might have to wait another round. I'm not sure. Um, but it's real. It's a real hard choice because I'm very attached to Zora and I'm very attached to Lauren. And, and this is my treat to myself. I normally get babies rooted that I'm going to sell. Rarely do I get my personal babies rooted to keep. So this is like, ah, I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? But um, Zora has been around for a while. So the newness of Laura, Lauren may wear off. But I know Zora, she still has my heart. So... Um, lots of babies have came and she's still like is the one you know what I mean so um yeah it's it's you know a lot of choices that we have to make in our hobby but um yeah so I I have this this way but it can I think it it does good to do it do it like that but I don't know. And the sweaters, actually, they're 2T, but they are they fit pretty baggy on them, pretty big. So, um, if I was to do it over again, I would have got, like, more, like, an 18-month for them. Just so it can fit a little bit more, less, like, baggy up at the top and stuff like that. Like, you can't even read what it says, which don't really matter. But see how this, because it's so big, and I don't know, like, it's, it's so big that it's, um, and her cloth will show. I don't really have to worry about that with Taraji because she don't have cloth up there. So, if it hangs down, however it hangs down, she's okay because it just looks like skin. Um, let me zoom in to these girls. So, um... Like I said, I, I painted both of them. The painting is very different on both. Um, so, yep. So, painting is very different. I think, I don't know, I'm trying to look. Um, actually, no, I was going to say they have the same color eyes, but actually, Zora has a, a darker brown color eyes than Taraji. But, um, yeah, just different. Different paint styles, different um, different reasons for you know loving them. Um, I did put, you guys remember I put a little piece of an armature in Zora, so that she can, like, her head can like go in different directions, not just. Or make sure it sits up and not falling down, which made a big difference. And I love it. I really, really love it. Um, she doesn't have a full armature. But I've seen artists do full armatures in even babies like this. Because then you can they can open their arms like wide open, close them, shut them. Um, which is pretty cool too. But I just don't like the eh, 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 noise. So I like just having it in the back of them. So I mean... Invest in me some more armatures just for future toddlers. Um, even if they're not, um, even if they're not uh, going to be standing, to be able to have more flexibility in their neck, cause their head, because like she can like f flex her head in a lot of positions and hold it, versus if she hadn't had the armature in her in her um, neck. So basically, she just have a spine, a, l a little bit of a spine, kind of like if that makes sense. Um, or what you call that thing that, that goes down the, the back of your neck. I don't know. But, um, I don't know. So, that's that. I'm trying to think. Um, I am planning on painting me one more toddler for my personal collection, but that will be down the line. Um, I'm thinking of giving her curly hair. Uh, Zora, more of a curly hair. And I think, well, Taraja hair is kind of curly too when it's loose, but not. I want to give Zora a little bit more curly. I don't know, maybe some loose curls. 
I don't know. And I, I don't know if I should do... She's more a little bit younger. What you guys... You see? Like, look. Dora is, is, is younger. So... I'm... I may even possibly give her shorter hair. Um, just not sure yet. We'll see. But yeah, it's just it's a lot. See when you look at look at their legs, like her legs is bent and they reach with her legs, you know, fully extended. So um, Taraji is she's got some some length to her. So like, like if she was to sit over here, like, oh my hair, here, hold on. All right, so like if she was to sit or her legs out, she's like, she's a little, she's thinner too. She's like, mama, now you know I don't have one. She got on a pull up. <laughs> but yeah so I don't know like she's a and just her face alone looks more mature like you know babies start to lose their baby start losing their baby fat as they get a little bit older and start walking around and running around and stuff like that Taraji is definitely giving me I'm an older baby see that I don't know what you guys think, but, oh. but she just, I don't know, to me, she just, she has a lot of, oh, almost fell. She has a lot of flexibility. Um, I have a ladder right here behind me and I almost, <laughs> Almost failed. That's why I need to straighten stuff up and get put stuff back where it's supposed to be. But yeah, but they're they're both good size, and I think um, Zora fits. Zora can fit eighteen months, eighteen to twenty four months, and sometimes I do put her on two T, but um, because she's thicker. Like if you look at her legs, her legs are fatter. She has thicker little her little thighs are thick. So say I'm a thick girl. So yeah, she gonna be wearing that for a little bit because I don't think she's so cute in that that little outfit. I think that's it. That's all that I wanted to tell you guys and just show them because I don't show my toddlers as much. Um, I think this is my favorite hand on um, Zora. I do love the way her, like I did her nails on her and I like the bottom of her feet. Um, I love her. I actually love Zora's legs more than anything. I like showing her little legs off. So this summer, she's going to have on a lot of little rompers and stuff. And I'm going to have to buy her some cute little... She Well, she has some sandals. I did buy her some sandals and stuff, but we were just transitioning over to um, the cold weather, so I didn't really get to put them on her. But I'm definitely going to be... She's definitely going to be a summer baby. So I definitely want her rooted before spring comes in. So... If she doesn't go this time for her to be rooted, she will be going the next time. And I'm trying out um, something different with a different rooter as well. So it's a possibility I may be able to send like two babies at one time. Um, I've worked so closely with my rooter for so long that um, when I want something very specific and I know that it can make or break my bond with the baby, um, I kind of want to stick to that particular rooter for that reason because she kind of knows what I want and she understands when I you know say and I know what her her limits are and where you know what she how her work is with certain styles and stuff so I know where to say hey can you do this one this way or that way da 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 so we always joke and be like we make we make some pretty babies together or whatever but um so we always joke about that, but I think that I potentially will be able to like get more babies like rooted moving forward if things work out um, with this other rooter. So 
we will see. And I am really excited about everything. And um, I know I still haven't gotten Miss Andy back on here. But, you know, give me time. I'm real busy right now. Like, crazy busy. Trying to get this. I got two customs that's like... I got one on the cuff of being done. My reborn is like almost there, but I'm still like, I'm, I'm trying to get the coloring just right and everything and stuff on that one. But my, um, my silk, the silicone custom is, uh, really got my hands full right now because I'm like, this is like the, the moment where I get like really, really deeply like manic about painting. So I'm like painting around the clock. I like, jumping up out of my sleep <laughs> every time it's time to paint another layer and stuff so um but soon I will share that and I will share my next baby I'll share my customs as I finish them I also will be sharing some other babies that I'm working on behind the scenes um I will share them as soon as they're fully completed um some babies I show work in progress like Lauren I shared before she got her hair um, and some babies I like to just wait until they're fully completed and then just share them like that. But, um, yeah, let me know if it's a particular baby you want to see in my collection. I know a lot of people love my Joey. I will be showing him soon. Um, he is definitely my special boy too. So I only got one boy toddler right now because Phoenix is gone. But Phoenix... Um, which is now named Premier. His mommy like really, really loves him. And I'm so excited about that. I love that. Um, you know what? I was trying to see something. Hang on. I post, I want to do a video of my preemies too. All my preemies. But I was just looking at Piper over here. I want to see her color next to Zora's. I don't think they, even they are the same color. No. And Piper eyes is lighter than all of their eyes. Her eyes is lighter than both Taraji and Zora. Let's see if it focuses in. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that's Piper. I was like, is she the same color? But no. So yeah, those are my babas. Um, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.